Sometimes I'm on top of the world, other times I feel like I'm sinking into the floor. Hi guys, it's me, Essie Magic, and today I want to give you tips on how to improve your mood. I'm gonna give you the tips that have helped improve my mood in hopes that they can help improve your mood. So one of the things that I find about life here for me in LA is that my mood can go up and down, up and down, up and down, literally a roller coaster ride. Sometimes I'm on top of the world, other times I feel like I'm sinking into the floor. That's the truth. So I need to do things to make sure that I can stay in a good mood when I'm in a good mood I'm more productive and I just treat people around me better and it's just better for my health if I'm you know happy and in a good mood and so there's certain things that I learned to do to improve my mood and keep me you know having a positive outlook on life and keep me in the right mental state so I want to share those tips with you I have a total of six tips in no particular order but before we get started I want to remind you that I release videos every Thursday and Saturday so make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell I'm gonna give you five seconds to subscribe five four three two one or should I count subscribe for each one? Subscribe, 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 subscribe. <laughs> that was my countdown in subscribes. Yeah, so here are my top six tips, life tips for improving your mood. So the first one is, it's gonna be controversial and I feel like most people won't like it, but giving up coffee has helped me tremendously. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like, there's no way I can give up coffee. But you can if you really want to. I did and it's made me feel so much better. When I was drinking coffee pretty much every day, I felt more anxious, I felt more paranoid, I felt like I was having more anxiety and it was causing me to overthink things more and just I'd be kind of racing and for a lot of people that's a good thing they want it to wake them up so they can be you know alert and awake but there's a fine line between feeling alert and awake and becoming paranoid and having anxiety so for me giving up coffee has really helped me with that it's helped me to calm down be a little bit more mellow and not get so worried about things and I'm so happy I gave it up I haven't drank coffee for at least a month I would say and it's changed things tremendously for me so that is a recommendation I have you might not want to do it maybe cut down slowly or only have uh, coffee on certain occasions but for me it's helped and so I hope it can help you too the next thing that has helped improve my mood is making sure I get enough sleep and it might sound like common sense because people say it all the time get good rest you know whatever get eight hours of sleep but Believe it or not, it is hard sometimes to get eight hours of sleep when you're in a go, 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 go type of job environment. A lot of times you go to bed, you know, worried about your job or worried about whatever it is you're working on. Or if you're an entrepreneur, you're just racing. You can't, you know, you're just, it's go, 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 go. If you don't get good rest, it leads to burnout. And that's something that happened to me, um, especially recently as well, is I wasn't getting enough sleep and I would, go to work in a bad mood. I would feel tired and cranky and feel like I don't want to be there. I want to be lying in my bed. Like that's what would honestly happen. And so for the sake of myself and for the sake of my colleagues, <laughs> I decided that I needed to get at least eight hours of sleep or close to it. And another thing that it helped as well is my anxiety. Because one thing that I've developed since being in LA is more anxiety problems and it manifests itself in different ways but i find that when i was not sleeping early it put more pressure on me to fall asleep it's like if i don't fall asleep by this minute i'm only gonna get four hours of sleep and then the, the clock is ticking and then that makes me not fall asleep more because of the pressure to fall asleep and it's like oh now it's like only three hours left if i don't get if i don't fall asleep right now then i'm only gonna get three hours i'm gonna have a miserable day because i only slept for three hours and i find that when i didn't give myself enough time to fall asleep it just created more pressure for me so by sleeping earlier it's like okay I have an eight to nine hour allowance of falling asleep and 
that has improved my mood so much because I have less anxiety when I'm going to bed about having to, you know, wake up early or whatever. And I just wake up also refreshed. I mean, you get good sleep is good for everyone. You just feel better the next day. And so for me, getting good sleep has improved my mood and my stress levels tremendously. So the next tip that I find has helped improve my mood is to exercise multiple times a week you just need that sort of stress relief and you know when you exercise to get those endorphins going it's like anything you were stressed about or worried about it like disappears while you're exercising and then you just feel better and then also too for me when I get good exercise it helps me sleep better and then I wake up in a much better mood and I'm just ready to tackle the next day and it's just something that has helped for me and I feel like it helps for most people from what I've heard um, so yeah, exercising definitely improves my mood for sure. The next thing on the list that helps to improve my mood is making sure that I am nutritionally getting everything I need. So that is making sure I take vitamins, when you visit the doctor, go up talking to them about if you're deficient in any ways, making sure that you have all the minerals you need really helps you have good energy helps your mental clarity just helps you be an overall healthier person that's improving your mood i've had problems with iron and so for me that has affected my mood a lot and by making sure that i'm on top of getting my iron taking you know my vitamins that i need to take it definitely improves me overall in terms of health and of course my mood you know when i'm making sure that i'm getting all the supplements i need i am just a much better person i would say the next thing on my list is part of the whole self-care thing that everyone's talking about these days you gotta make time for that self-care and it is for me getting a massage Ooh, massage massages are just phenomenal i mean i feel like it's self-explanatory do i even need to explain why you should get a massage <laughs> massages are just a great stress relief when i get them i feel better i feel like jello i just feel so good and i feel less stressed thus improving my mood so that is my next recommendation and the last thing on my list in terms of improving your mood and this one can apply in different situations it could be if you're an entrepreneur if you're a freelancer or even if you're you know working full-time whatever it is outsourcing anything you need help with if that makes sense so for example i have people who help me on lagoals.com now and that's really helped to alleviate things for me and I have another business and I have someone who helps me with that so it's just getting help on things that you need help with because being overloaded with work and overloaded with all these plans and ideas it's just not good for your mood it's not good for your well-being and it's not good for your day-to-day -day life really so i think if you can outsource anything you need help with where you can it could be that you're having an event and you're making flyers and it's like you know what the flyers are stressing me out let me just get someone to do the flyers for me those are things that really really help and i recommend doing and it allows me to just be less stressed and of course be in an overall better mood just because of having less stress on me because of having less work on me pretty much so guys that is it for my six tips to improve your mood i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos i release videos every thursday and saturday and also don't forget to check out lagoals.com if you're interested in being around like-minded people who are trying to make it in la and navigate this city and just be a community you gotta get on lagoals.com i got resources guides and discussion forums group chats where we you know i answer questions and i have you know job hunting stuff and apartment hunting stuff and all that jazz so of course get on legals.com with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your tip for improving your mood i'd love to know in the comment section below with that being said keep being magic bye